Hi there, this is Sarah from Great Days by Sarah, and today I have for us a calming yoga flow. As we get into this hectic holiday season, this is probably just what your body needs. So join me in your space and let's get started. Find yourself into a comfortable seat, placing your hands, palms down on your knees. I'm gonna start with some seated cat cows today. As we arch up, we send our chest forward, eyes gaze towards the sky, and then we round, we pull on our knees and round through your back, tucking your chin to your chest, and repeat. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Let it all go. One more each direction. Find a comfortable middle, sit up nice and tall, like there's a string coming out of the top of your head, sit up a little bit taller. We're gonna add the twist. Right hand comes to your left knee, left hand comes gently behind you, start slow, gaze over to the side. Come back through center and reverse it. Inhale brings you middle, exhale brings you a little bit further this time. Keeping your spine long throughout. Last one, each direction. Maybe you gaze over your back shoulder this time. Feel a stretch through your neck through center and finish strong on the other side. And release it. Come on to hands and knees. For our traditional cat cow, a little bit more spinal opening. Bigger range of motion. Today, I'd love you to try as you gaze up Spread your thighs away from each other. As you tuck your chin and curl, squeeze them towards each other. So your knees will just shift on the back. And the movement is slight. But feel how it feels different in your hips. Find yourself back to neutral. I'm gonna lift your left hand up, open towards left hand side, and then thread the needle all the way through. Placing your shoulder on the mat. Maybe this hand stays in a kickstand. Maybe it reaches out. And if you want a little bit more of an intense stretch, reach it up and around, reaching for that left hip crease. Just do what your body craves today. Unwrap slowly, come back to that kickstand using your right hand, press up, fully unwind, and then set it down for the other side. Right hand lifts up, open your chest, open your shoulder, sweep it under, thread the needle, right shoulder plants, use your left as a kickstand, send it out or up and around. Reverse it the way you came in. Send it back high. And set it down. Send your right leg out to the side. Try to get it up to about hip height. So you don't want it back here. You want it up to your hip height. We're gonna rock back and forth. 
Maybe you can rock all the way back that you sit on your heel or untuck your toe and come in to this version of a child's pose. If it's too much through your inner thigh or you feel any pain in your knee, just find the stretch through your right inner thigh. Back up to hands and knees. We'll just tuck this knee under, send your left foot out. Once again, hip height. Rock a little before you find that child's pose. Get some movement through your hip joint. And then if it calls to you today, sit it all the way back. Finding the spot that works for you. We'll meet once again in tabletop, just one round of cat and cow. Reset your spine. And then we'll make our way back to our first downward facing dog. Send your hands out in front, feet walk back, and find this upside down letter V with your body. Maybe pedal out your feet. Perhaps you want to shift your feet so your hips go side to side. feels right in this moment, and then I'll invite you to come into stillness. Your heels working towards the mat, but they don't have to touch. Let's add a little heat. Inhale forward to plank. Lift your right leg and lower. Lift your left leg and lower. Right hand, tiny lift. Left hand, tiny lift. One more time. Right leg, left leg, right hand, left hand. Send the hips high. We meet in downward facing dog. shorten your dog and lift your left hand and reach to the outside of your right calf or if you want a little bit more you can reach the outside of your foot you can reach towards your foot and then peer up underneath your right arm for this down dog twist keep breathing this is an easy spot to hold your breath shorten down dog and we go right into the other side. Lift your right hand and reach to the outside of your left calf or foot and peer up this time underneath your left arm. short down dog then walk it all the way out and lower it nice and slow all the way to the bottom I'm gonna plant your left ear on the floor and reach for your left foot so a quad stretch but laying down sending those hip bones towards the floor tucking your tailbone under and keeping your knees close. Switch it over other side. Switch your ear first, right ear plants, right heel lifts, find the quad stretch. Upper body is relaxed.
release it, slowly push back to a wide knee child's pose. Hips towards your heels, forehead towards the mat. Reset just for a beat. And then when you're ready, press it back to downward facing dog. Your right leg lifts high, maybe your knee opens. Open your hip and circle your knee around. And then reverse it. And then we'll step it through, we'll meet in a low lunge and we'll drop our back leg. So our front toes are pointing forward, our back leg is resting on the mat. Plant your left hand, we'll twist first towards that bent leg. Still hugging your right knee towards your midline. Send your hips a little more forward. And then plant your hands both down. Maybe you need to walk your foot out to the side a little bit to find our lizard pose. Both hands on the inside of your right foot. You're welcome to stay up on your hands or if it serves you, come down to your forearms if you need a little bit more of a deeper stretch, but don't let your right knee splay out. It's still hugging in towards your right shoulder. If you came down, come back up to your hands, then turn your right foot out, maybe wiggle it out, away from you, about the size of your foot. Now we're going to press the knee away and add the twist up. So just stretching your hips in a different way. And then if you want a little bit more, reach for your back foot and add the quad stretch. That's why we warmed it up on our bellies. So a lot going on here. Your right hip is opening, your left quad is stretching, and you're finding the spinal twist. If it's too much, reverse one step. Release that foot slowly if you took it. Plant your hands. We're gonna meet back in that three-legged down dog, sending your right leg high, maybe circling your ankle or circling your hip. Then we'll plant our feet and lift our left leg. Find your low lunge first. Drop your back knee. Plant your right hand and find the twist. Make your way 
onto your back. We'll hug our knees in to start, maybe rock side to side. And then if you have space, spread your arms into a T. If not, goal posts. Knees will lift up to 90 degrees. And we're gonna drop them just a 45 degree angle to start, side to side. Maybe you can drop them so they hover over the floor, a little bit lower, but they don't land yet. The next time you come to the right, let your knees land on the floor for a spinal twist, just a little bit. Knees drop to the right, Head looks to the left. Try to have both shoulders on the floor in this one. And if you need a little bit more, cross your left leg over your right for a deeper stretch. shoulder down on the ground. Bring everything back to the center. Give yourself one more big hug. Forehead towards your knees and then let your legs go long. Arms where they fall comfortably, Shavasana. Let go of your breath control. Let your hands and feet do what feels good. Maybe they turn out, maybe they turn in. And just be here for a moment. Start to wiggle your fingers, circle your ankles, wiggle your toes, and then last one stretch, a good morning stretch, hands come up your head, legs reach far away, and then ever so gently roll onto your right side. And then gently up to a comfortable seat where we started. Do one last inhale together, arms come up overhead, palms to touch, hands come to heart center. And then to your third eye, the space between your eyebrows, the sight of intuition. Thank yourself for showing up today. The light in me honors and bows to light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thanks for joining me in that calming yoga flow today. Go have a great day.